just feels like driving on a mini a bit, isn't it? <laughs> this is fun. Still flying out. I think this is the trail, maybe. This is a new trail. We <laughs> found that the man keeps coming on a motorbike from the middle of nowhere saying. I have route on map, this way has uh, six kilometers of mud. Uh, Basically so saying it will be a problem if we carry on this either way. Either he's trying to sell us a route or because he has the map he wants to sell us or there is mud so we'll soon find out I guess. Um, uh, it's been very dry so far but then if we encounter anything that looks dodgy we'll check it and you know, have to turn around if the worst comes yeah, to us. Absolutely. This is a route that two of our friends have suggested so they've done it in the past, it may have been a long time ago. but. We're oh. going to give it a go. Also, it's obvious that someone has driven through. Alright, it's got to be done. It has to be done. Do the honours. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Lovely. Ding, 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 ding. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Look where we are. In the middle of nowhere. Because this is Africa. <laughs> For the next three days, we will be leaving civilization, moving away from Mazuga and Ergchobi, heading south, close to the Algerian border. Only dirt tracks and sand from here. Apparently, from now onwards, there are no more tarmac. It's only dirt tracks, Not gravel tracks. Point. That's no, it. Right we passed that point. Gravel and sand. guys are because currently there's like a giant cloud of dust um, whoa. Oh. so there is actually gas oil fuel in um, Ramlia um, on a barrel yes that's it so all friends uh, we actually parked up, waited, uh, whilst our friends went back to get some 
few <laughs> meanwhile um, Jack and I uh, we've had a lovely chat with local three kids we were naming um, all the vehicles between English and French we can <laughs> name such as Jeep Cherokee Toyota Land Rover which is fun um, also as expected obviously children do ask for money or food and um, we gave them some food, as in apples. Um, They've gone way off the trail, by the way. Now we continue. since Agora, I think. Yeah, and they were driving so. slowly, so this trail just goes on and on and on. On goes the snorkel sock. There's a racing continual. Currently, I feel like I'm on Mars. Just epic views in all directions. <laughs> Check it out. Just come over that big sand piece. <laughs> Incredible. behind the dune and more. Wow. Look at all the contents are found. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Camp spot for tonight. Last time I opened this, just tons of dust went inside. So we're gonna try and preempt it. <laughs> Having fun? Nope. I taste the dust coming. Mean, Felt clean this morning. No, I can't come to play, really, to be honest. This is part of it. Yeah, I no, we love it. <laughs> it tastes like Morocco. So that's what's happening around the camp. We have set up, the sun is setting, all the cool tracks. And that's the plan tonight, to have a lovely fire. And I'm not complaining, I'm definitely counting my blessings, very happy. An experience I shall never forget. And I believe that in years to come, I'll come back to this video and it will be very special. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the rush of seeing as many places in as little time as possible, or whatever time you have. But it's at moments like this, this moment here, we realize this is what it's about. Sitting here with our friends in the dunes, watching the sunset, cooking up some nice food around a campfire. Wow, I mean, <laughs> does it get much better? Jack's on the kitchen. I can smell this for miles and I feel like this everyone can Excuse smell me, it. I'm not having tacos again. Uh, we got this meat from the supermarket. We're not sure. We're hoping it's beef, but it could be camel. Who knows? Yeah. Could, if anyone can read that. It's very can, red. Let us know. 
this is what he says and the colour is just very red Colours are changing to some glorious colours in here. Good morning. Good morning from the desert. One of the coolest camp spots to date. Yeah. And the off road. For cars. sure. Yeah. How serious are you about your coffee? We are very serious. The handle rattled off on the tracks yesterday. Lost the screw. So He's modifying the screw right, right now. That's one of the bolts from the bolt, random bolt box. Might have just one. <laughs> yeah. About five million quid here, I think. Maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> After checking all the tyres, I can see the bonnets up. Checking the levels, belts, etc. <sighs> visual check all around, check the tyres. Yeah. Check the leaks underneath, do lots of transfer diffs, CVs. That's your morning mantra, to be honest, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you do that almost every single day. It's worth doing in any vehicle. I, mean, I love this vehicle because it just feels like you don't have to do as much as the older ones, but it's still, you know, you've got to, you've got to double check yourself. Um, check the vehicle to make sure everything's tickety boo. Tickety boo. We <laughs> <laughs> just follow them, they got these. How'd they go to China? Oh, that vans a bit. Oh, Ooh. A Having a problem, there, sir. Back already. Oh, no. Is he actually? Google says she has an option across the desert, so we're going to try that. Um, there's a fuel stop that it says is about three hours and a quarter away, uh, yeah. so who knows? Uh, we'll fill up there, hopefully. Uh, we'll see his garage in. How do you spell that? Uh, that? Tagonite or Tagonite? Anyway, I'm Spanish. sure it's wrong, but something along those lines. And then we did our worst. <laughs> from there, we can uh, pick up the next wiki trail. Mm and end up down towards the famous abandoned Land Rover and the dry riverbed, river lake, lake yeah, river. I, I no, can't no, wait I to river. see, because we lake crossed bed. the lake bed, river bed. <laughs> lake bed. <laughs> yeah, the rest mob. <laughs> Whoa, this is bouncy. Oh, camel, new friend. Introducing my ultimate travel companion, water to go This innovative water filtration bottle is a game changer, ensuring that whatever your adventures take you, you'll always have access to safe, great-tasting water. 
With water to go, say goodbye to single-use plastic and hello to sustainable hydration on the go. Honestly, ever since I tried it, I won't leave my home without it. Actually, we just got stopped. It looks like army. Not so sure. They're asking for our passports. So. Um, What's this? So on the um, this looks... on the map, I saw it have like a, a zigzag point, and I thought, oh, that'd be that'd be like the start of the hill. I'll just. Mm. As we came over, I saw a load of other people gathered up and thought, oh, maybe this is a good spot for lunch and there's some cool vehicles. And we came around the corner and realised, no, this is a military checkpoint. This is them. Mm -hmm. They need all the passports to scan them and check them. And... Oh, right. Today yeah, it's quite strange. Somewhere in the middle of the track. We're not close to any borders. But, yeah, apparently military checkpoint. Um... There's a buggy, like a desert buggy, and another 4x4 vehicle ahead of us, so I believe it's the same thing. But, so this is what the Google route has taken us, but hopefully we'll get our passports back. I'm sure it's part of it. It's just when you haven't had the experience before, <laughs> it's a little bit concerning. Um, yeah. All passports back. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's always a bit odd, isn't it? You're like, ooh. Get the passport and you run away somewhere. <laughs> yes. You were thinking, is this real or not? Um, but yeah, we've got passports back and we're back on the trail. Um, palm trees and green. Some scenery just changed quite a bit. This is odd. Look at that. Wow. Right? We just have to stick to the track and. Um, Basically, Moroccans do not want us to venture off the track to go left because left, if you carry on and on, you'll end up in Algeria and you can't get to Algeria. So all of these checks are presumed is for our own protection. So, um, and just before we got handled or passports back, we were told to stick to the track. So this is exactly what we do. 
very calm. According to still Google, by the way, it's one hour, 27 minutes until we'll get to a petrol station and another village in Morocco. Yeah, it's got a lot more rocky and hard now. We seem to have left the fesh fesh behind the super soft fesh, dust. Fesh, it's yes. like deep soft. It looks like deep soft sand, but it's real fine dust, and it's just mm. like feels like there's no bottom to it. It's just clouds <laughs> and dust Oof. engulfs the car. That's right. Jero started to show some concerning symptoms. Yeah. Find out next time.